now I really want to get this beat pattern in your head, like we got the other case of superposition in your head. So it's similar setup. We have a function generator driving a couple of speakers. The speakers make sound waves that oscillate your tympanic membrane, which you hear as sound. Now we're going to have the speakers going at slightly different frequencies. So now each one has its own function generator. They're both set at 320 hertz. So if I turn one up, you can hear a nice 320 hertz. And if I turn the other one, also 320 hertz. Now, what gets interesting is when I now drive them at different frequencies. So I'm going to knock this one up to 321 hertz. So you can kind of hear the beat, right? It gets loud and then it gets quiet, loud and quiet. It's going from having the two sinusoids add to having the two sinusoids cancel. The beat period should come out to be the difference in frequency. So here I have a difference of one hertz, 321 and 320, and you can hear it is at about one hertz. If you check it on your little YouTube clock, it's about one hertz. If I go to a two hertz difference, the beat period, is, the beat frequency is twice as fast, and sure enough, it sounds like about two hertz, right? Right, if I go to three hertz difference, three times, it's about a three hertz beat, and it'll always be the difference, right, according to the formula. There is a, oh, what are we up to, 20, there's uh, 12 hertz. And then it starts to make horrible sounds. You can turn the amplitudes up, and all kinds of horrible things can happen. So now you've felt the beat in your own head. Why don't we turn this off and move on?